Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the newly updated Aether mod for Minecraft 1.2.5. So before we actually install the mod we're going to be checking whether or not we have any mods currently installed on our Minecraft. So we're going to go over here into our start menu and type in the search percent app data percent and press enter. Should pop up a folder like this and you should see dot minecraft somewhere in there mine's at the top so I'll go inside there now select everything uh, you can leave your saves and also your last login there as well if you want to and your screenshots and stats they don't matter so I've got bin mods resources backup selected options you can leave it in the servers data too many items delete that and you can leave in your options as well so I'll just delete them, which might be associated with mods, and get rid of them out of your recycling bin, and then we can re-download the default Minecraft files. So when, once you've done that, go and run Minecraft and download the necessary files again. Okay, so once that's done, you can go to the link in the description for the installer. It's on skydaz.com. I highly recommend for any other mods you might want to install easily. He packages them into little installers. So here you have uh, the mod thread and of course the e .exe and the .zip version. I find the .exe version easier. So I'll download whichever one you want. As you can see I've got mine on my desktop here, the other installer mod. So I'm going to right click that and run as administrator to make sure there's no, going to be no problems. This window should appear. You've got all these little options which can uh, reset the installer, clear your mods and you can also back up and restore the current Minecraft jar. So just in click install mod and it'll ask you if you want to back up Minecraft before installing. For this tutorial I'm going to click no but if you click yes you can back it up and restore it in a later on. So as you can see it's downloading the files for the air of the mod. Might take a while depending on how fast your internet is or even your computer for that matter. It is quite a big mod as well so don't expect it to go super fast. So once that's done, it'll start adding all the files and folders into your minecraft.jar for you. With that little green progress bar there telling you whenever it's done. And then you should have a little pop-up message saying the mod has been installed. Click OK and we can go on run Minecraft. If this pops up, you can just click this program installed correctly. Okay, so if your mod has successfully installed, this little menu should appear, this custom menu saying the either in the top left and this custom background and also these custom little icons here. So guys, thanks for watching. This has been a how to install the either mod for Minecraft 1.2.5 and I'll see you all next time.